I'm Joe. This is the Joe Fixes It channel. Uh, today it's X Mark today, and uh, I'm gonna put some new tires in this thing. They're just getting kind of bald, so it's just time to replace them. The best way I can figure to do this is just to do it on the machine. That way I can lock the brakes and hold the wheel in one place. The first thing I need to do is let the air out of the tires. The next thing we have to do is break the bead. Otherwise known as breaking the seal on the rim. And just take your thumbs, give it a little push. The front one's pretty easy to get off. The back one's a little bit more stubborn, so we'll take and put a little bit of... Uh, got it loose. Now that I've broken the seal, it's time just to start dismounting it. You need a uh, pry bar. Before we start messing around, let's lock the brakes. That way it can't move. Just get your little tire irons out. And we've got one half of it down. It's got about four gallons of slime in it, so I won't want to spill it everywhere. And there we go. You can see it's full of slime. Now it's time to clean the rim up so the new tire going on there will seal. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the valve stem since I have it off and it's easy to get to when you do that. And I usually get one of these little valve stem tools at Harbor Freight. I don't, not really a big fan of Harbor Freight, but that's where I bought this and it works pretty good. There. Usually if it tears it in half when it comes out, that means it's rotten. Let's get the rest of this valve stem out. I have a little bit of lubricant here. I bought this at Amazon. Uh, you can use dishwashing detergent. It works just as good. Stick it through the hole. Use your little handy dandy Harbor Freight valve stem tool. You don't even need this. You could do this with a regular valve core tool. And just pull it till it pops. Here's our new tire. I bought it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. So I gotta pull all the labels off, obviously. The important part is putting lubricant on your bead. So we just like slam it on. <clears throat> Can't quite get it on there, just a little bit of help from the tire iron. The last part of the rim is a little bit harder to get over. So I've got a little trick that I use to get this thing on since I don't have three hands. There we go. And we got it beat. All right, let's have it uh, get it seated. Before I really go any further, is I'm gonna let the air back out of it and I'm gonna fill it full of slime. Because you run over thorns and all sorts of stuff and uh, it patches it up, otherwise you're gonna be putting air in this thing every time you run. You can see I put the tube on the end of it and uh, I'm gonna squirt some slime in it. This is gonna take about eight ounces or so. You really can't put too much in there, but it sure beats having to put air in this thing or patching this tire up. Could put this valve core back in this bad boy. I've got slime in this thing. I've got the tire pressure up to about 12. I like to run it there. I like to run a little bit soft. It gives me a little better control and a little bit easier ride when I'm going over kind of rough terrain like what I mow all the time. Now all I have to do is do this one more time. I've got my tires done. You can see that they're not very hard. You can do this at home if you have a couple tire irons and some compressed air or even a couple screwdrivers. I've got slime in them. 
So if you found this useful, helpful, subscribe to the channel and support me and I'll see you in the next video. The end is still the same. Whoa.